Hello retail traders, this is Washboard Jim with a sneaky snake trading strategy where I talk about chart patterns, moving averages, and being in the now. I've been a knife catcher for a long time. I like to buy at support, sell at resistance, and that's how I created this strategy using chart patterns, moving averages, and being in the now. And right now we got earnings coming up on Tesla on the 24th after the market closes. I'm very excited about it. One thing that we've had a pretty good pullback. I'm kind of negative about it because we've had such a great run in the market. We broke resistance of the all-time high double top on the three-year time frame on the SPX and the SPY. And that's just going to be a catapult maybe for disaster later on because we do need a little correction off that huge run we've had in the past. And we did pull back off the double top, consolidated to a perfect little spot right off the 9 EMA on the daily or on the weekly and we bounced up off that last week and that was a beautiful run last week so let's go ahead and get into tesla i love tesla i've been trading it for a very long time i love elon he's he's my favorite ceo right now owner entrepreneur and billionaire he's definitely on my number one list of being the best in the as the best could be so CNBC and everybody tries to drag him down because he's not with the swamp, but that's why I like him so much. He can say what's on his mind and he don't really give a crap at all. I mean, he does, but I listened to what he said last week. He said, you know, you look at the weekly time frame. If you're going to trade, trade off the weekly. And that made sense. So I went ahead and I pulled up the weekly time frame. Now, they are have had price cuts. He's also got that tax credit. They are the number one selling car next to B, what, BYD out of China. And that's his only competition he has. I think there will be more competition for Tesla. Have we hit a peak? Have all the people that want an electric car bought them already? Or are they going to keep selling? I think they'll keep selling. I can't wait to hear the government say cash for clunkers for an EV car. You'll get cash from your clunker and you trade it in for an EV. That's what they should have done in the first place instead of these tax credits. But it worked well for Obama. It probably could have worked well for Obama-Biden. I mean Biden. You know what I mean. Biden is nothing but a puppet. So we've got Tesla here. I'm looking for it to break the 200 SMA on the weekly time frame. There's also another indicator that's on this chart, and that's the inverted hammer. We've had an inverted hammer bounce off right here, and she run up to the upside, and then we've had another steep pullback to the 200, and then last week we created another inverted hammer. The only thing we really have to do is break that 200 SMA, and I think that could be a catalyst to maybe run it up to about 220, 230 area, but we'll, or at least to the 50 SMA, right around 224. That's going to be Tesla. I really like this setup here. The only thing negative about it is that we are below the 200, which makes the stock bearish. So earnings have to be good or better than anticipated. And usually in the wintertime, these stocks like to pull back in a way for good opportunity to run them up into the spring. So I'm excited to watch Tesla. We're going to be pulling this up to the yearly time frame now, see if I see anything different. We definitely broke below the 200 also on the yearly, and we just had a, such a great sell-off. This thing can run up and hit, like I said, that 9 on the, on the would be the resistance here, 9 EMA on the daily. Let's pull up the 20. 20's had a great run. I called this pullback at 207.50. Was it 40, 40 something? And we hit 207.56, and then we kind of had a little bounce off that. So that's the number we got to hold this week at 207.56. If earnings come out and the sediment, you know, I get sick and tired of listening to CNBC always bad mouthing Tesla. That's just the way the game rolls. They, you know, they're they're a GM, Ford. And they're having such a hard time with these EV cars. But Elon, he's done it out perfect. He's not unionized. You know, he's 
the leader of the pack when it comes to AI, I think. He was talked about it before everybody else even wanted to mention it. He also talked about EV cars when everybody was bashing the EV cars. And I've seen the change between people's attitudes about, I mean, when it first came out, I ain't buying Tesla because it's EV. I'm combustion engine all the way. And I am too because they're a lot more reliable on long trips. You don't have to take the time to charge them and all this other rig. But on a daily usage of a car inside the city, back and forth to work, you got a garage. You can charge that baby home when you get home, unplug it, drive it to work the next day, do the same thing, and I would go for that. So Jimmy likes Tesla. Jimmy wants to see it break on the on that weekly again. We got them two inverted hammers, which does cause a reversal pattern to go to the upside. We got to break the 200 and try to hit that 50 SMA. And we do have a golden cross right here, which is also respected. Didn't go down that much on the death wish. It turned right back around when we hit that 200 SMA. The only bad thing now is we're below that 200. We break that 200. We'll take this at least to 222 to 224 off earnings this week. I'm going to definitely be watching it, see if I can get into a good options price. Now in option land, we've got the 220 call right here that I'm looking at real closely for next week, maybe the 225, but I want to see if this thing drops in and gets me a little bit better price with the put up here right around the 200 area. And I'll take that put if we start to pull back and run that thing on down. So my options are both definitely going to be right here. I might even get them both and have a safety. And then when they start to move, I'll get rid of one of them and watch it run up either way. So that's going to be Tesla. Next week strike, January the 26th, the 220 call or the 200 put. And that's it. Retail traders. Sneaky snake trading strategy where I talk about chart patterns, moving averages, and being in the now. And right now, I love Tesla. I always have. I just waited for this pullback, and now we're here. The only thing that's really got me kind of concerned is how much we've run up on the SPY and the SPX and all these other good trades. But the momentum's here. The, you, can't, <laughs> you just can't beat it. I've, I haven't seen nothing like it. And they're, they're playing out good. We played a lot of megaphone patterns after we hit that double top high. I pointed them out in the room. Give us beautiful spreads. I mean, from like the SPX from from $2 all the way up to 3000 two or three times this week. It's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I, I kept saying we're going to have some very good volatility after we hit that two-time double top all-time high on the weekly time frame on the SPX and the SPY. I sent a note to Jim Cramer on the 1st, or on the 31st. I said, hey, you're NVIDIA. You're going to hit 650 this year. I guarantee it. First day come out, we started breaking that 500, and look where we are now on that NVIDIA. We're going to get close to 650, maybe 640, and then we'll consolidate, pull back, and start to create a new Darvis box for the rest of the year. But that's the target the Fat Cats wanted last year. And I said, no, not going to happen. Not going to do it. My attitude changed on the 31st. It was enough time to consolidate, create that sending triangle breakout off that Darvis box. And boom, let's pull the chart up. I just want to show you that. That's not the right one. We'll put it in the video here. Pull up the yearly time frame. We traded this Darvis box all year long, bounced off the 400, 404 area, run it up to five and get out of the trade. Then first of the year, my that little cup and handle, or man, that little bitty, I call it a J hook, off the 51 where we bounced off before. It went into new highs. So I've got a target on the top of this here yearly time frame. 
pit around 637, 640. And I'll get out of the trade then. I've been swinging this stock long. We're holding up the nine. If we do decide to pull back, that nine is going to be a very good entry idea to take this trade again. But I want to see it hit that 637 and then just go sideways and correct itself back and forth to 500 to 637. And that'd be traded out just perfect. So that's it. Retail traders, have a great day. It's Washboard Jim, where I talk about chart patterns, moving averages, and being in the now.